Find the greatest prime number p less than 1000 such that there exists a complex number z, satisfying the following. 1. The real part of z and the imaginary part of z are both integers, 2. Modulus of z is square root of p, and 3. There exists a triangle whose three side lengths are p, the real part of z cube, and the imaginary part of z cube. Let's place the given information on the complex plane. Z cube is simple to calculate in polar coordinates. One side of the triangle is the imaginary part of Z cube, the other side is real part of Z cube, and the third side has length P. Existence of the required triangle is guaranteed, if the difference between the sides is strictly less than P. This is also known as triangle inequality. We notice that 3 theta must be less than a right angle to keep point C in the first quadrant with positive imaginary and real parts to become the sides of the triangle. Therefore, theta must be less than pi over 6. We are also given that the real and imaginary parts of Z are integers. Let's call them M and N respectively. Since the modulus of Z is square root of P, we have sum of squares of the sides is equal to p, note that m and n must be relatively prime otherwise their common factor could divide p, which is not possible as it is a prime number. We can also write the relationship between the Cartesian and polar parts of the complex number z. Using earlier restriction on theta and the Cartesian parts of z, we can also write an inequality relating their proportions. Let's expand the inequality in terms of cosine and sine of theta using known identities. We already have a restriction on theta. We can analyze the expression inside the absolute value to further refine the allowable values. From the original equation it is straightforward to obtain the roots of the quadratic equation. Alternatively, one can factorize the quadratic equation as well. Since the sign of the leading coefficient is negative, the expression is positive between the roots and negative outside. The expression changes sine at pi over 2 in the region we are interested in which is between 0 and pi over 6. We can rewrite the inequality using the roots of the quadratic equation. The second root is always greater than the allowed theta values. So we can safely take it outside. Let's write more terms using tangent theta. We can make more terms similar using the fact that the product of roots was 1. Intuitively the last two factors of the left side is greater than 1 given that it is a product of potentially numbers greater than 1. Let's test this hypothesis with the requirements of the problem. If we assume the hypothesis, the remaining factors on the left side must be less than 1. Luckily, this leads to a contradiction of the problem's basic requirement that the angle theta is less than pi over 6. So the hypothesis is false and its opposite is true. Solving this inequality is straightforward. Therefore, m is between two real numbers that has a difference of 2. So m is either the ceiling of the left side or floor of the right side. Since two odd or even numbers are not allowed, there is only one test to perform for a given n value. Additionally, since p is less than 1000, n cannot be larger than 8. A few calculations for n values less than 9, indicates that the pair of 5 and 18 satisfies all of the requirements. Thank you for watching. For AMC and AME summer camps and online courses visit our website starleague.us.